everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the news about our latest projects as well as the company. And as always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. As usual, let's begin with Time of Legends Joan of Arc. We'll have basically a continuation of the update we made two weeks ago with the sheet showing how development has been going in regard to the 1.5 update. We've updated the spreadsheet, which now shows that all but two scenario books, the Reliquary and the Core Box, have been fully updated and proofread. And all the Teutonic Knight scenarios have been developed. For Teutonic scenarios, all that remains is the proper wording, translation, and layout of all gameplay elements, such as unit cards, special rules, setup diagrams, intrigue cards, etc. Extra art production for the Teutonic Knights expansion has also entered its final stages, and some of the new tokens have been drawn for their respective scenarios, and you can see those here. Concerning the core box and the reliquary books, we kept those for last because every backer gets them, and we want to spend a bit more time on those without jeopardizing the rest of the production. The core box book was also the last one we posted, and working on it last made sure that everyone had a chance to leave comments and opinions on it. So thank you for all of that useful feedback. For Solomon Kane this week, we have some more pictures from the factory showing production value of the miniatures and suggestions on how they will be stored in the box. So to be clear, we are still on track for the estimates we've given recently for the product to be on the boats by the middle to end of October. But as always, please note that we are sharing estimates with you given to us by the factory, and should anything change for whatever reason, we will keep you informed. For Super Fantasy Brawl this week, we only have a little more information to share with you, but in keeping with our promise to share what we have when we have it, here's what's new. In specific, our Asia Hub is currently fulfilling pledges. We've actually received our first feedback from a backer in Hong Kong, and it was glowing as he and his sons were very excited to get it to the table. For our European and rest of the world backers, a lack of space on the trains going from the ports to the hubs is making things very difficult, as the shipping company wasn't able to book space on them for delivery of our goods. So per the shipment company, the new date for the games to arrive at the hub is September 24th. For our North American backers, we have a new date of arrival for, of the boats for September 18th. And for our Oceania or Oceania backers, however you pronounce it, the same information continues to be true that the boat will arrive at the port on September 18th. On to Enchanters, production is continuing to move along. And so we have a few more pictures from the factory as more and more components come off the production lines and your orders start the assembly process. Pretty soon, they'll be on the water, headed to their respective ports and hubs. For Steam Watchers, as Leo hinted in his last live Q&A, the development process of Steam Watchers is reaching its end. As such, we're going to tone down the frequency of updates to monthly, except if we have something urgent to share like production updates and so on. 
That way, we're not feeding you with updates that feel contrived and empty. But Leo, of course, will still be there in the live Q&As to tell you about Steam Watchers, should any of you have any questions. So make sure you continue to tune in there. And finally, for Hell the Last Saga, we have deeply modified the first song of the saga so that it doesn't look like the one in the prologue that was played during the demos or on the uh, tabletop simulator game. The disturbing element we added is the presence of a female survivor found hiding in the abandoned camp. This former member of the clan seems to have lost her mind and is fleeing from the heroes to the forest to light a bonfire. Who are the smoke signals from this blaze intended for? What is this woman afraid of? Well, these questions may be answered in scenario three of Song One if the heroes, led by Erica, are quick and organized. And speaking of the Tabletop Simulator module, we are releasing that today, complete with a basic guide on how to use Tabletop Simulator. The module will come with two scenarios, like we've been running at online conventions this year. Scenario one will be the party's first arrival on the island and the beginning of their search for the settlement their brethren have supposedly started. Scenario two will be the investigation of the camp that is eventually found and their attempt to save Alvar from his mysterious sickness. Additionally, the Paris office had a visit from French War Game Studio, an acclaimed French YouTube channel specializing in tabletop board games, and they played Hell the Last Saga for the first time using our physical prototype with painted miniatures. Julian and his colleagues absolutely loved the game and they want to prepare something special for us, so they are planning a playthrough video with a lot of atmosphere because they loved the game so much. So keep your eyes open for that coming up in the future. And don't forget that Leo will be live tonight in English at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, on our YouTube channel. And right after that, at 8.30 p.m. Paris time, with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions. And that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we will see you on the flip side. Take care.